what was the role of music in your childhood? I don't know. I mean, I think I experienced music in a lot of different ways in my childhood. My dad's a musician, so he was always like playing guitar and stuff like that around the house. He <laughs> he used to come into my bedroom at night and like play me songs to like put me to sleep. And he said when he was like tuning up when I was a little kid, I used to always say like, "This is my favorite song." <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I, I danced a lot growing up, so, um, you know, obviously that's like a different, that's like a physical element as well. Um, and then I've always really loved singing, so I don't know, I guess it's like, music it has a lot of different ways to be in your life, and I don't know, I guess it was kind of like all over the place. <laughs> so was your childhood. Yeah, uh, yeah. Literally, how did that influence the music? Being exposed to different, sort of more city, more rural, how did that influence everything? Um, well, I think it's given me a more broad perspective than if I had only been in one place for most of my life. Um, and obviously, like, life experiences make it into music and lyrics. And for the people who, who don't know, um, talk about the different places you grew up and what each of those sort of contributed to that story. Um, well, I was born in New York, but I only lived there till I was two. So, I mean, when I was a kid, like, I, like, I don't have, like, memories from the time I was two or whatever. <laughs> and then uh, I lived in Montana from the time I was two till I was nine. Um, which I think I kind of like idealized that time in my life a lot. And it was, um, we lived out in the middle of nowhere, uh, like an hour outside of the city and we didn't have like cable or anything. So my brother and I would just like go like catch salamanders and play outside. And, <laughs> uh, then we moved to North Carolina and had kind of a suburban, like normal, uh, experience like I I lived like two minutes from school which was super different because you know it used to take forever to get anywhere and like I loved living in North Carolina and I'm super ha happy for that time in my life as well because I loved having like a southern upbringing and that's really my mom always really liked country but that's like kind of where I got more interested in country music and like I would go to like Dollywood every summer with my cousins and stuff. Um, and then uh, I left home when I was 17 and I lived in New York for a while uh, and then in LA and then now I live here in Nashville. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I think having all those different experiences like was like a taste of a lot of different ways of living. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And an independent upbringing, too. Yeah, definitely. That's still part of you? That yeah. Independence my, and I can stand on my own two feet? And... Definitely. My mom, her job kind of kept her away uh, a lot. So from a really young age, just kind of did stuff on my own. And um, I think that's... I don't know. I'm happy for the for that because... Like, a lot of my friends and stuff still, like, don't want to, like, go do stuff on their own. Or, like, when they're by themselves, they're bored. But I like being by myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, but I also like doing kind of weird stuff, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, I think songwriting for a lot of people starts out as a solitary. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely, Time, cause yeah. I'm not afraid to do anything when I'm by myself or, like, you know, make weird noises and stuff <laughs> and try lines yeah. and just yeah exactly so say anything i want to and play terrible guitar and no one will know <laughs> the let's get to some of these songs um because when i said before like it's a record and i was so excited um it's these are real songs thank you there's like real stuff going on in each and every one of these songs and real lyrics and substance and I miss that. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for, for making this. Um, how did you develop the way you write songs? Do they always come from personal experience, or do you bring in other people's stories? Um, well, the way that I've 
been writing songs since I moved to Nashville was different um, than like prior to that because um, I mean not like and I and I love it like I've been set up on like co-writes with where it's like here's this person that you just met today now go write a song together from this time to this time <laughs> and like <laughs> but I think it's great because the songs that you write in those scenarios are something that you never would have written otherwise. Um, and, I mean, I still write by myself, too, which, like, I don't know. I mean, every song obviously comes from a different place, and, like, like Dead and Gone is on the album, which is a song on the album, like, I... <laughs> It's basically, a light little day. Yeah. <laughs> I've had, like, this fear of death for, like, I don't know, some, since the time I was, like, 14 or something. Maybe younger than that. But it's kind of a reflection of that, uh, along, as, like, in addition to my interest in poetry. So that's, like, a culmination of those two things. And then Me and Johnny Cash, which is the single, uh, we wrote that song because John... Uh, one of my co-writers like picked me up to drive me to the office and I was like venting about an old boyfriend so then we wrote that so like they all I think I mean in my mind they're all pretty different so I want to touch on the me and Johnny Cash song <clears throat> because one of the things that I like about that character is she uses music as her friend yeah and as she turns to music and there's songs that I can you know they're my friends and sometimes I want to hang out with them because exactly you, know, you, yeah. you need that comfort mm -hmm. um what kind of music is that takes that place for you is that Johnny Cash or certainly for diff I mean I think there's so many different roles that music can play and like even like in like where the music can embody as a friend you know like there's this one album this Nikki and the Dove album that like if ever my friends want to go out and I'm like really tired and I don't want to I'll just like put on that album and I'm like okay I can go out now <laughs> um or like you know I love listening to Johnny Cash, like, if I'm feeling homesick or something, um, and then, like, Alison Krauss makes me think of my mom, so, I don't know, there's, like, I think different music plays a, a different role, you know? The song Nevermind, true story? Yeah, I mean, it was, an, it was another co-write with John Ramey, so, he actually had the idea for the song, but... I think everyone has gone, has experienced the situation of like wanting a relationship to be something more and not having that be reciprocated. It's the, because that was almost like, <clears throat> we should get your producers in here because there's, I have, I have questions for them too. Um, the, some of the choices on the record, I think, are really interesting, and especially with Nevermind, it's very, the vocal is almost untouched. Like, I mean, it's not. I know what happens in a studio, but it's it just sounds so pure. And, um, to me, it was a song, I was driving a couple of days ago, and I've got this record going, and all of a sudden, I realized I was getting tears in my eyes. Oh. <laughs> and it was because the emotion of the song is so strong. I was thinking about something, you know, different, and it comes through. Um, Thank you. How was the the vocal process for you recording not not just that song but everything on the record um well that song in particular is like my favorite song to sing on the album um and uh i mean we recorded everything over a span of like i don't know several a long time we we're still finished you know, recording songs that aren't obviously on the EP, but that will be on the album and stuff, still writing. <laughs> but, um, Russ, the producer, like, wanted the vocals to be, to, like, I mean, I think <laughs> I generally sing in tune and stuff, and, like, I like to think that I'm a pretty good singer, so, like, <laughs> you didn't have to, like, touch it too much, and that's definitely what he would want to do. He wanted me, we would... There was, actually, I, like, got really sick for a while and had bronchitis, so we, like, tried to record, and it just sounded really bad, and we had to come back and, like, recut a bunch of stuff because he didn't want to have to, like, tune it a bunch and stuff. and just wanted the vocals mm -hmm. to be, like, natural. And that comes across um, very much so. And I like how you use your voice. You're not afraid to really play with range, going very, very sort of deep, um, 
what how did that develop what what gave you that confidence to really freely play with your voice um i've always just really loved to sing and the singers that i really admire um i think have dynamic voices and um like i love Ada james and otis redding like that, like Motown, Motown, like soul kind of voice. So, uh, I mean, I think that's that's you know listening to different singers and what they do kind of has allowed me to have more freedom vocally. Because mm -hmm. the the first like, the first couple of songs you stay a lot of in your middle range and you feel very comfortable there. And I was almost starting to think like that's what you do. Mm -hmm. And then Nevermind comes on and this voice comes out. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this is extraordinary. Um, mm -hmm. So I really like that, that you don't feel the need just because you can really belt out a song that you have to do that every time. Well, I thank think you. There's... Yeah. I, that's something that like, even in recent years, I've had to like realize <laughs> that like, there's, you know, just having moments of intimacy is like, just as powerful as like kind of showing off vocally. <laughs> it really well, one sec because I try to songs usually get put in an order for a reason, so I mm -hmm. try to listen to the record in order. Mm -hmm. um, and I, but I was very curious about the last song because of the title. I forget what the order cool, is. Cool, wild, the... whatever. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that going to be about? Um, talk about writing that one and and that feeling. That you're conveying in that song um that song john and i wrote outside of this building like on a like sunny day last summer <laughs> um when i was like i forget if he came up with the groove first or if i had lyrics first but um i was like into this guy and um I'm pretty much like the lyrics are pretty like spot on as to, as to like what was like going on in my life and just um i think it has kind of a youthful feeling and like um i don't know i i, I really like the way that song turned out like i really like the production on it and everything i think it's um it's definitely more like pop sounding mm -hmm. than some of the other ones but I don't know, that's pretty much... <laughs> <laughs> but that's a cool mix. There's real country, like, Turn Me On mm -hmm. Like the Radio is absolutely 100% pure country, and then you have that more indie pop mm -hmm. music in there, too. Yeah, I mean, I think we tried to keep everything on the album, like, could this potentially be played on country radio? And then, <laughs> you know, uh, so, like, finding that balance has been, uh, I don't know, interesting or something yeah. and like th trying to like figure out what I don't know like satisfying my interests as an artist and also like keeping in mind like what the country audience wants to hear um and I don't know I'm I'm super happy with everything on the album so hopefully people like it <laughs> <laughs> is that a difficult balance sometimes when the because I think especially the songwriter mm -hmm. might sometimes fight with the radio crowd. The songwriter wants to say something. and Yeah, I mean, it. that's been like a little bit of a struggle for me because, um, uh, I don't know, like, I want to be able to, like, say anything I want and make it sound any way that I want to, but if Russ will be like, then you can. You just have to have a hit first. <laughs> so that is wise words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still. I think I agree with him. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Um. But it's still. This is still a record that that there's no. You know. Hey, boy, come in. Yeah. Know, well. Yeah. That's, pick me up in your truck. This is not on this record. You can that's still just, say that's what you want. Definitely not like say. true to who I am. I'm not like a. Hey, boy, come pick me on up on your truck and a girl. So yeah. <laughs> that would be like disingenuous. <laughs> Awesome. And you mentioned an, an album. What are the plans for the rest of the year going into next year? Um, we're, I'm like back in town this week writing. I've been on radio tour since January. Um, and we're going for ads on the single, me and Johnny Cash, on the 29th. So this week I'm 
doing some stuff for the EP release and then writing some to hopefully like hopefully I'll write some songs that I like this week that could be on the album <laughs> but yeah just trying to finish that up I guess and um continuing the radio tour till who knows when <laughs> <laughs> radio tours feel yeah. pretty endless and since we didn't connect to CRS I ended every interview there with this question if you had to put together a soundtrack to your life other people's songs mm-hmm. what would make that record Oh, man. I listen to so many different kinds of music. Like, what, which songs or which artists or, like... Songs, like, people would go, you know, for this part of my life, that song represents it, and that part of my life, this other song. And uh, it was really diverse. It was really interesting. Yeah. Oh, man. Like... Um... I really like the song... Dance Dance by Neil Young. So I'd put that on there for like, because it reminds me of my sister and kind of like a happy, <laughs> like, I don't know, having a good time song. <laughs> and the dancing um, part of your life. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, and um, uh, Dolly Parton, life is like a butterfly. Because <laughs> it's so twinkly and special. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's so many songs. <laughs> it's a tough question. Yeah. Uh, like, Johnny Cash, Sunday Morning Coming Down. I love that song. Um... Know, how many should I say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this could go on. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. 